Hello traders, this is Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you a new tutorial. And in this video, I wanted to show you how you can utilize MBO, market by order data, on the Optimus Flow Dome and throughout the software. Now, if you're not familiar with it, MBO stands for market by order. Market by order data describes an order based data feed that provides the ability to view individual queue positions, full depth of book, and the size of individual orders at each price level. So this provides you with increased transparency, full depth of book on your uh, on your dome, known queue position. It allows you to see the increased order size, which creates greater market depth for all market participants. It provides insight for participants executing a trade that requires resting orders and multiple instruments to manage execution risk. And this data is fully unaggregated. Um, you know, not filtered in any way. It potentially provides you more accurate data on both your dome and things like heat maps, which is on our dome surface. Now, this feature is currently available on the rhythmic data feed. And to enable it on your platform, you need to go to your connection manager in the top right of your software. You could also right click the toolbar that runs across the top of your screen, head over to connections, and you want to go to rhythmic. Now, if you're already connected to Rhythmic as you see I am here, you just need to disconnect. And when you disconnect, you should see a screen similar to this. And right here in this faint blue lettering in this paragraph here, you'll see connection settings. You want to click on connection settings, open up this window, and then you'll see there's a new option. It says enable market by order mode. So go ahead and enable that. And then you want to go ahead and reconnect yourself to the Rhythmic data feed. Now, once you have the MBO data mode enabled within your connection settings, the first thing, in my opinion, that you may want to consider doing is heading up to your dome and going to settings. You could either right click your dome and go down to settings right here or click this hamburger menu icon and go to settings through this menu. Now, the first thing I would suggest doing is increasing the number of levels on your dome. Now, by default, we have this set to 10 just to conserve on data consumption. But if you are using the dome and MBO data specifically, you may need more levels. So to increase that, again, you just want to go to the view tab within settings, scroll down until you see split size columns, and you'll see number of levels. Go ahead and increase this to a suitable level for you. If you take a look at my dome here as I increase this, you could see it starts to expand. So you can use these arrows up or down to expand or contract these levels. You can type in a number. As you can see, 20 is increased. Or you can really make it whatever you want. The more data you need, just increase this as needed. And you could see um, it adjusts the market de depth levels up and down. So I just put 50. And now I have 50 levels up, 50 levels down. And if you need to scroll up or down, if you have it set to auto centering, centering which it is by default go ahead and set it to non-centering or keep in view and use your mouse wheel to scroll up or down as needed and you'll see all 50 or you know whatever levels you customize so once you have enabled or increased your market depth levels the next thing you can do to take advantage of rhythmic mbo data is head over to your columns then scroll down to bids scroll down within this settings and you want to go to the size coloring scheme. Now within here, you'll see the new option for MBO and you'll get a couple options here and you can adjust this to filter orders more than. So for example, right now it's set to zero. So basically the MBO setting will just show any, any orders here. If there's a specific, specific number of contracts that you want to filter, let's say for example, 10, you can go ahead and, you know, enter that in and the MBO feature will only show more or filter orders more than 10. You can go ahead and draw borders around your MBO. It's a little bit easier and more transparent to see, as you can see down here in the bottom left of my bid columns. Um, and then you could also highlight values as well. So in conjunction with the filter orders, if you want to just leave this as zero, so that way you can see all orders within the MBO uh, data, you can go ahead and then highlight on top of that. For example, we have it highlighted for values more than 100. So that way it's even more increased transparency. And you can see, for example, right here at 396875, although it just changed uh, previously, as I was saying that it was set to 98. And for example, right here, 99, 
this is less than 100 so it's not currently highlighted so feel free to customize this as needed uh, you could also change the colors if yellow is too bright or you know you don't like this color scheme you could just simply click on top of it choose a new color and you'll see here once it's filtered um, anything higher than a value of 100 will be highlighted for you so now that you've configured our new MBO settings, there's a couple new features within the dome that I wanted to show you just to provide you increased transparency with your orders and the data that you can see throughout the dome. So one of the new things we've added is the ability to split your buy and sell columns. Now, just previously in my video, this was actually just enabled um, already, but just to show you the difference, if you right click your dome, you'll see this new feature here, split buy and sell columns. This basically allows you to transparently see what orders or positions you have on the buy or sell side just switching it back by default you'll see it simply just keeps this in one column here so whatever you prefer um, you know there is you can distinguish the order type based on the color of it when it is uh, actively in the market by default if you just have this one column here but if you'd like to be able to separate it so that way your buys are on the left side and your sales are on the right side just go ahead and right click it and click this new split buy and sell column next you can also now highlight the day high and low range setting to do this once again you're just going to want to right click within your dome go to settings here go to columns and then go to price you want to scroll down and right here you can now highlight the show day high and low again you can customize this setting as needed you can see the colors here um, right now are just a default blue and then you could also do this right here the highlight day low day high range and again you can customize this color as needed customize the color of the column and you can see here I put it red and it just transparently shows you the range of the daily high and low moving forward you can now also add the show last trade side setting for your volume profile columns so if you do have volume enabled which you could do so by right clicking your chart or excuse me your dome and enabling the volume tab again you can now show the last trade size so if you right click your dome go to settings now within these settings you want to go over to columns scroll down and you can go to any of these profiles here let's do profile one if you scroll down you could click show last trade size and you can see here once i enable that it's already starting to highlight right here on my dome again you can customize the colors just as you can do with any of the other features on the dome um, if you'd like to specifically see whether the last trade size was an uptick or a downtick you can customize that color here so as you can see, if we're just actively looking at it on my dome right now, if it's a gray color, that means it's unchanged. If it's red or that orange color, it means it's a downtick. Or if it shows this cyan green color, it's an uptick in, in the change of the last trade price. So now for our final two features of the day, two recent things we've also added for the dome for increased transparency is the ability to customize the colors of your positions. And what I mean by that is previously, on the Optimus Flow Dome, when you executed a position and it was filled, as you can see, I'll do so here. We're currently long on the market price of 39.79.25. You can see that it's represented by this gold or yellow highlight right within your price column. Now, previously, there really wasn't a way to distinguish directly through the dome whether that was a long or a short position. So what we've added here, if you go back to your settings and go to price, and scroll down to the position section here as long as show position is enabled you can now customize the color of whether it's a long or short position so right now I'm currently long and you can see that again by looking at the price column here this yellow box now I can customize this to whatever I want it may be most intuitive to customize your long color to a green similar to as our charting style here by default and then a short position to red so if I just go ahead and customize this to a green color now I can easily distinguish in my directly from my dome whether this is a long or a short position 
You can also customize the width as well. So if you need to be a little bit thicker to be even more transparent, you can customize this to whatever thickness and color scheme you like. Now, finally, uh, similar to some of the other things we've done with the MBO data schemes, you can now customize your bid and ask color zones. And you can do this by simply just going to the columns tab again, and then either clicking on the corresponding bid or ask setting page. Let's say, for example, I go to bids, you'll see there's a custom back color. So I can simply click on this and change it to whatever I'd like. So if I want my bids to be a certain color, let's say purple, I can now see the zone of my bids is clearly distinguished as a purple color. And if I want to do so for the ask, I just need to click on the ask setting page instead, customize the custom color here, or enable, excuse me, the custom back color, and then go ahead and choose a color scheme for this too. Let's say I want to make that cyan. And it's really easy to distinguish now the different color zones and whether or not you're looking at the bid or ask side. Again, this is just pure customization, adding increased transparency. Feel free to adjust these features, enable them or disable them as needed and customize them to whatever color scheme you like. Uh, you can really get creative too. So if these color schemes are, you know, too dark or just stand out too much, um, you can increase or decrease the opacity. Let's say, for example, I made it 25%. It makes it a little bit easier here to see, you know, this MBO data that I've highlighted previously, um, along with clearly distinguishing the ask color as well. So those are new things we've added to the dome. Just want full increased transparency on the dome, make it a lot easier to see. You know, we hope these features help you out. If you do have any questions on the new MBO features we've added or the customization colors and, you know, schemes that we've added to the dome, feel free to post them in our comment section below or head over to our community forum. That's community.optimusfutures.com. Again, thanks for watching and we hope this tutorial helped.